Hi all, welcome to Joyroot. In our last video, we learned about how to backup a VM. And in this video, let's check how to restore a VM from the backup. So before proceeding to the video, uh, I request you all to please subscribe my channel if you are watching for the first time. And if you have any suggestions or questions, please mark it in the comment section. All right. So if your VM has got a virus or some other serious problem, then we can restore the VM from the backup. There are two options, either to create a copy of the VM from the backup, that will be a copy of your existing VM, or you can replace the existing VM itself. So these two options are there to backup, a, to restore a VM from the backup. So in our last video, we had created a recovery service vault and we have configured the backup. We created the policy for the backup and we have uh, configured the backup. If you check it in the backup items, we could see one Azure virtual machine is, and is backing up. So we are uh, clicking on that particular machine. And you could see the backup pre-check passed and last backup status is success on uh, today at this time. So latest restoration point we have today at 8.37 a.m. So this is our last restoration point. So we can restore this particular VM from this particular a restoration point. So let us see how to do that. To do that, let's me click on this view details. And here we have an option to restore a VM. So let me do that. Now we have to select the restoration point. As the machine was shut down, we have some crash consistent points here. So we go with the 16.6.950 at this particular uh, backup point and let me click OK. All right. So as I told you, we have a two restoration, restore configuration like create new or replace existing. I'm going with create a new restore configuration. Restore type, create a new virtual machine. And virtual machine name, I mark, give it as restore vm in tune on prep that's very long we'll just mention it at restore vm subscription that's fine resource group I select the same resource group if you want you can create an another resource group like a restoration this rg and you can move that uh, particular vm to that resource group so in my case i just keep it in the same uh, resource group virtual network i added the same one in a production environment, if it is affected by the virus, there is a chance it affected to two or three machines through virtual networks. So considering all that situation, plan it accordingly. Create a new virtual network, subnet, create a separate resource group, restore the VM from the to a different uh, virtual network, different resource group, different subnet. So that we'll have to plan it. In our case, I just want to show you how to restore a VM from the backup. Staging location, you can uh, select the existing one and restore it. So it is validating. Let's wait. It may take some time to restore the VM from the backup. Meanwhile, we'll just go back to backup jobs and see what happening over there. The restoration has got completed successfully. It doesn't take much time. It just took two minutes, nine seconds to restore a VM from the backup. So if you click on the view details, we have all the details of that particular uh, VM. So let's check in the resource group. We had added to the joy root. So we could see the new VM here. See, uh, so this is the new VM, restore VM from, uh, this is the name we had given to that particular VM that restored from the backup. All right. So if you go to the virtual machines, also you could see that new virtual machine here. Yeah, this is the new virtual machine that has just created. So this way we can restore a VM from the backup restoration point. The remaining part related to backup, we will see in the coming videos. That's it for the day. Thank you.